vinegar in the solution right there, but these capers, we're going to take about a tablespoon of them, and they have uh, a different flavor. It's not something you're used to. I'm going to put this in the, in the butter there. That's lemon, butter, and capers. You can turn that on low. That's going to be the sauce that we put on this simple sunfish. Now, here's what we're going to do. I, there's a technique to taking the skin and the scales off. And what I do is take a fork and run it along the back like this. See that, Kathy? You yeah, use I a fork, that. not a knife. Now I'm going to take it and peel the skin back. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh. I should let them cool just a little bit more, but you see the way? It's easier than scaling. See the way that skin comes off? I sure do. Hmm. Make me a believer. Yeah. I'm going to do this kind of quickly here. Okay. But the meat comes off of the bone just like that. Oh, it sure does. Look at that. Ah. Isn't that succulent? Now you see the bones in there from the fins? Yeah. And you can go over the ribs the same way. It peels right off oh. and leaves the rib bones right there. Flip it over and do the same Both thing. Sides. This meat we're going to serve up to Bob and Ed with this caper lemon butter sauce. And believe me, they're going to love it. You're going to want to stick around, but you're going to... Melted lemon butter and capers. Here, uh, Bob, I'm putting... Mm. That's the bluegill right there. That looks great. That's crappie right there. And I want you two to taste this to see which you think is better, if you can detect any taste. This started out here, simple sunfish, inbreading, cornmeal breading, and that was it. No scaling, no skinning. Well, we do scale and skin it all at once after. after it's cooked. And here we have the bluegill, which comes off in one piece, and the skeleton, and oh. the other side of the skin. Now, crappie doesn't come off this easily. The skin comes apart. Kind of, yeah. But here's how much meat you get out of one bluegill, one small bluegill question is, crappie or bluegill, aside from the fact that it's a little more difficult to pull the skin off, how does it taste? Well, they're both good. Maybe mm -hmm. the bluegill is a little uh, little sweeter tasting? What do you think? I think the texture is a little more firm. Mm -hmm. Don't you, Kathy? Yeah, it looks like it. Simple Sunfish right here on page 8 of our Club Digest. Address coming up at the end of the show. But first, mm -hmm. let's take a look at the Michigan Outdoors outdoor calendar.